we're going to get to the news. While touring the demilitarized zone on Thursday, Vice President Kamala Harris mistakenly said the U.S. has, quote, an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. It's a huge blunder that many are calling presidential. <laughs> Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas's wife, Ginny, testified on Thursday before the House committee investigating the Capitol attack in a four-hour closed-door session, and no matter how much the committee begged her, she would not open the door. <laughs> the National Archives said last week that they still do not have custody of all missing records from former President Trump's administration, and this is absolutely the first time Donald Trump has ever fought someone for custody. <laughs> it's all yours. According to newly released documents, the FBI spent years surveilling the late singer Aretha Franklin, which isn't surprising if you've seen any of her performances from the 60s. <laughs> so I guess that's an FBI agent uh, ordering from a giant menu. The FBI used to dress like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> when he was preparing to leave Walter Reed Medical Center in 2020 after being treated for the coronavirus, then-President Trump reportedly told aides he wanted to exit the hospital in a wheelchair and then stand up to reveal a Superman shirt, you know, just like Superman would never do. <laughs> A Little League baseball card at Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg sold at auction last week, and even then, they knew he wasn't going to be an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> the New York sandwich shop Katz's Delicatessen in Aladoro announced the release of a New York subway-themed sandwich. The way it works is you eat the sandwich while a stranger masturbates next to you. <laughs> That's right, Katz's will release the so-called 1904 Signature Sub this month in honor of the subway system's 118th birthday. And if you're wondering what the subway was like 118 years ago, ride it. <laughs> Disney World fully reopened to its normal hours over the weekend after Hurricane Ian, and it's pretty much the same, except now the whole place smells like wet goofy. Oh, you're all on board for the subway masturbator. <laughs> uh, we draw the line at wet goofy. <laughs> and finally, Chipotle is set next month to begin testing its new kitchen robot named Chippy. And to give you the authentic Chipotle experience, the robot will be high as hell. <laughs> What did you say again? Ha, 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 ha. While in Puerto Rico yesterday touring hurricane damage, President Biden said that his home state of Delaware has a large Puerto Rican population and added that he was, quote, sort of raised in the Puerto Rican community at home politically. Whoa, just take it easy, dude. You sound like someone's grandpa the first time they meet a gay person. Hey, nice to meet you. You know, we had a gay fella in Vietnam with us. At least, you know, we all thought he was gay on account of it. Ah, it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, nice to meet you. Do you fellas shake hands or grandpa, stop talking? <laughs> it was reported that Pennsylvania Senate candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz's research team at Columbia University killed hundreds of animals over several decades, including 329 dogs. Even crazier, it was reported in his campaign ad. Producers of the Netflix series The Crown have announced a casting call for an actor between the ages of 16 and 20 to play young Prince Harry and an actor between the ages of 55 and 60 to play young William. <laughs> a former girlfriend of Republican Senate, Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker claimed in a new interview that Walker paid for her to get an abortion in 2009. And the only way that will hurt him with Republicans is if some of that money went to pay down her student loans. No, I'm gonna stand by that one.
Florida Governor Ron DeSantis visited a Waffle House restaurant over the weekend and served food to linemen working to restore power in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Thanks for everything you do, said DeSantis to his photographer. <laughs> Former President Trump filed a defamation lawsuit yesterday against CNN and claimed that the network has made a, quote, persistent association between Trump and Adolf Hitler. Yeah, come on, CNN. Can a guy hold a series of racist rallies in a country suffering skyrocketing inflation without being compared to Hitler? <laughs> Peloton, Peloton News. Peloton announced a new partnership with Hilton yesterday to put exercise bikes in more than 5,400 hotels across the country. Not to be outdone, Days In announced towels. <laughs> in a recent interview, country singer Shania Twain said that she wants to collaborate with Harry Styles in the future. Hey, so do we, said the rest of One Direction. <laughs> It was announced that the world's largest indoor go-kart track will open in New Jersey later this year and will include four passing lanes, but since it's in Jersey, there will always be a kid in the left lane going 15 miles per hour. <laughs> we have one writer who lives in Secaucus. <laughs> We're gonna do what we always do, take his word for it. <laughs> And finally, rapper Snoop Dogg announced yesterday he will release a cannabis-infused onion ring snack called Snazzle O's. So if you like marijuana and you like onion rings, you don't say. <laughs> President Biden toured hurricane damage today in Florida and met with Governor Ron DeSantis. And DeSantis has been working around the clock to recover from wearing this outfit. President Biden tweeted a picture of himself this week in a green sports car. Oh my God, look at him. <laughs> he loves his wife, yet has the energy of a man who was divorced an hour ago. <laughs> Got me a hot young girlfriend too, she's 65. <laughs> Russian President Vladimir Putin is reportedly planning to order a nuclear test near the border of Ukraine to demonstrate his willingness to use nuclear weapons. Oh, you don't have to prove you're crazy, you ride horses half naked and your best friend is Donald Trump. We see you. According to a new report, staffers who worked in former President Trump's White House were not surprised that in the raid of his Mar-a-Lago residence, the FBI found highly classified materials mixed in with news clippings because Trump never followed the strict rules for handling sensitive documents. Also, you're not gonna believe this, he never separated his trash from his recycling. In a new animated Scooby-Doo Halloween special, the character of Velma Dinkley will be depicted as LGBTQ. Now, you might be thinking, what about Fred? But hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Fred is an overconfident white guy who thinks he's a detective just because he owns a van. He's a definitely straight. He probably has an alt-right podcast where he complains about Velma being gay. New York Yankees star Aaron Judge last night hit his 62nd home run of the season, breaking, yeah, give it up for Aaron Judge, breaking Roger Maris's American League record, and to add insult to injury, the ball hit a Mets fan and killed him. <laughs> and you know what the Mets fan's last words were? At least I don't gotta watch us blow it in the playoffs. <laughs> Al Pacino is reportedly closing a deal with a publisher to write a book. It will be the first autobiography written in all caps. <laughs> very, very unfair photo. <laughs> but that is his writing face. <laughs> According to new reports, prices for real Christmas trees are expected to increase this year, so expect some changes to Rockefeller Plaza this December. <laughs> And finally, according to a new survey, 60% of Americans said that they have never cheated on a partner in a relationship. And if you have to ask, does it count if? The answer is yes. <laughs> President Biden today traveled to New York, said New Yorkers, oh my God, move! <laughs> in a new interview, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said that the media's coverage of Hurricane Ian was motivated by a political agenda, adding, I mean, as soon as it was over, there was a rainbow outside my window. 
That's not political? Okay. <laughs> Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker's campaign has announced that since he was accused earlier this week of paying for his ex-girlfriend's abortion, it has raised more than $500,000. In fact, it's going so well, Walker's thinking about asking all his exes to come forward. <laughs> FEMA announced yesterday that phone operators from the IRS have been brought in to help the agency handle the volume of calls after Hurricane Ian, so now getting help will be just as easy as doing your taxes. <laughs> Tomorrow is Russian President Vladimir Putin's 70th birthday, where he will blow out the candles and then push the cake off a balcony. Former President Trump said in a speech yesterday that he is being targeted by the FBI because, quote, they want to silence me. Hey, it's not their fault. The only way to truly silence Trump is to sit him down for a deposition. <laughs> a new list from Fortune magazine has ranked CVS health president and CEO Karen Lynch as the most powerful woman in business because she's the only one with the key to the razors. <laughs> that's, that's power. A 17-foot-tall statue was recently unveiled in Canada of a giant hand holding a Cheeto with orange dust on the fingertips. So the other statue obviously looked like this. <laughs> two right hands. It's a statue with two right hands. <laughs> The world's oldest living dog, Pebbles, died recently at 22 years old in 50 days. You son of a bitch! <laughs> it's a bummer I went into that joke laughing about the weed fingertip statue. I'm like, ha, 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 ha. The world's oldest dog died. Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney spoke last night at an event at Arizona State University, and because it was ASU, she made sure to speak slowly. <laughs> All right, we have an issue here I want to admit. Our head writer, Alex Bays, went to University of Arizona, and so he oftentimes will write jokes that are very unkind to Arizona State University, so I'd like to apologize to anyone who went to that school, who's currently going to that school, um, and let's move on. Um, <laughs> Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney spoke last night in an event at Arizona State University, though I'm not sure why they needed a congresswoman to read off the beer pong rules. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, University of Arizona is not Harvard, dude. All right, so we asked another writer to uh, cover this story because obviously Bayes cannot get above himself here to do this. <laughs> and finally, uh, Mike Scollins, our, our good friend Mike Scollins chipped in here. And finally, Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney spoke last night in an event at Arizona State University. Well, at least everyone there is used to not getting their first choice. You guys! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> that was a monologue, everybody! <laughs>